Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got the Eosheen E511. So a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago now, I reviewed the E511S, which was the GPS version of this drone, or very similar. This one has no GPS, no optical flow, just an altitude hold and a 1080p camera. So it's got a 1080p adjustable camera and it has these batteries so it runs on 7.4 volt 1200 milliamp hours so i've been getting 12 minutes flight time with these this one was sent to me from, from banggood and they sent me the three battery version so thank you very much for that i'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to buy the drone so yes this one takes three batteries so it's very similar batteries to the ones from the gps version the controller is exactly the same as the one for the GPS version, except obviously it's got different functions on. So on the front of here you've got one key take off and land. And then you've got one key land. You've got that button there is your headless mode. You've then got one key return to home. The back button here is 360 flip. And the front button is your speed mode. It has three speed modes. This thing is lively. You can see from the video coming up how stable it is. Strangely enough, I'd say it's not far off as being as stable as the GPS version. It just stays in the air fantastically well. It's very smooth fly with loads of power. So these batteries take about an hour and a half to charge. You simply slot in the back, you click them in place, and then you've got a button on the top, row of blue lights to make it look like the Mavic Air for Zoom. On the front of the controller is on and on and then just like most of these toy drones up and down to bind it so the app it runs on is the eosheen fpv app i believe just let me double check that yeah eosheen fpv so if you go into your settings you go into your wi-fi so what you need is wi-fi 1080p for that'll be probably a different number on yours but that's a number of the drone. Click on that. And then your Wi-Fi wi FPV app is... Oh, sorry, I've got the camera all the way down. There you go, that's better. As you can see, it's a really nice image on here. Very nice image indeed. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but can you see these lines up there? That is... Why well, I don't know why... I've seen another drone do this before. And funnily enough, I can't remember what the drone was, but that drone had this same problem. This thing's got a lot of jello, and, and it isn't particularly sharp, to be honest with you. The camera's not great on it, but it isn't great, I don't think, on the 511S. So these lines, you're going to see on the video I've got coming up, I've actually cropped into the image, so you don't see them, because they're all, it takes up too much of your image, and it's very easy to crop them out, but the point is I don't understand why they're there. You're going to see from the image that it has got quite a bit of jello. All these toy drones, so the cameras on them are never great, I don't think. The latency is decent on this, and what I would say is the range is good on it, because I never had an issue with this trying to cut out, and I didn't lose my feed. So that's a massive bonus, I suppose. It also runs on an SD card, so the SD card goes in the bottom here. So if on the app, if you've got record button on the app, sorry, I've just come out of the app. The record button on the app, if I press the record button now, if you look, it's it's in ye yellow and it's counting up or down, sorry. You can see that. If the SD card's in, that'll just have a red circle telling you it's recorded. So if it's recording like that and you can see it that way, it's just recording directly to the phone from the drone, not the SD card. And similarly with your camera pictures. And it will obviously store on here your images go back into it again so here's your pictures and video so these are some pictures that I've taken with a camera so you can see if I go into the pictures that's just out, out of my uh, window you can see the images are quite sharp I think did I do some video I might have done some video see if I have recorded any video in my hand I might have done some video, I might not have done. Let's have a look. Hmm. 
from there, none that really would show you anything. There you go. Now, nothing that shows you anything. I don't know if you can see there, that's playing there and I've just held it in my hand, but the image when you're doing that is fine. It's when it's flying that it's got the jello. So I'm guessing one or two things. The camera is too tight in here or there's not enough kind of, and it is tight, there's no kind of movement. It's just solid. Or it's coming off these props. Now I have, sw I did change and put the spare props on to see if it made any difference and it doesn't. So. I don't know what's really caught. I'm guessing that the camera must be causing the issue. Or it's just the vibration through the drone, which is a shame. However, it will give me a chance to stick my I stick something else on top of this. This has got loads of power and I think it's got no problem at all trying to lift a run cam. So I will eventually do a video with a run cam on top of this. So you can see, because I really do think this thing flies amazing. You're gonna see from the GoPro footage how nicely it does fly. I think it flies superb. If anything, it flies better than the GPS version, which I thought was a little bit wallowy. This thing's precise in the air, probably because it's got no GPS. Turns well, and it, in even in speed mode three, it has no kind of tendencies where it just drops and it goes all over the places. In speed mode three, sometimes with these toy toy, toy grade drones, when you yaw them, they'll just spin out of control. And this just flies exactly the same, except with more power. So thanks ever so much for watching, I'm going to leave you with a video, video coming up recorded straight from my GoPro and also the video recorded to the SD card. Have a fantastic day, thank you ever so much for watching.